we are going to make some student report cards in Excel and we have student percentages and we want to turn those into letter grades. We have a table, a lookup table that tells us where each grade level starts and instead of looking that up manually we're going to let Excel do the work for us with a VLOOKUP formula. The report has two columns. The first column has the percentage and we're going to fill in the grades here. On another sheet in the workbook we have a table with a list of percentages and the grades that would match those. We start that table with the lowest possible score, the lowest possible percentage, which is zero. So if you get a zero, you're going to get an F. You, if you get up to a 50, then you would get a D. So anything between zero up to 49, you'd get an F. Starting at 50, you'd get a D, and so on. 60 is a C, 70 B, 85 is an A. So in our report card, we're going to use a VLOOKUP formula. And we start with an equal sign and then type VLOOKUP and an open bracket. It asks then for the lookup value and that's the percentage that we want to look up. So I'm going to click on the 77 and type a comma to start the next argument which is the table array. So where are the values that we want to look up? And we'll go to the grades sheet and I'm going to select the cells that have the percentages and letters and on the keyboard I'll press the F4 key so instead of B4 to C8 you'll see dollar signs added and that locks in that range. So if we copy the formula later it's always going to look in that exact range for the scores. Then we type another comma and it wants to know the column index. So in our lookup table we have two columns. Our values are in the first column so we want the grade returned from column number two. So I'll type a two and then another comma and we're not looking for an exact match. Our grade of 77 isn't in here but 70 is approximate so if we're 77 we'd like it to stop at 70 and show us that that grade gets a B. So we'll type true here and a round bracket to close and press enter. And we can see that 77 is a B. Now if I select that cell and point to the little handle in the corner, the autofill handle, I can drag that down to see the rest of the grades.